Hey guys, this is Logic Crazy Chess and I'm Jonathan and welcome to yet another advanced Java Chess Engine tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be learning about the zero window search, also known as the null window search. And I will be just giving a quick brief overview of how it works. I've already described in previous tutorials but I want to make sure you guys understand this and it should be really quick and easy, especially if you understand the principal variation search or the alpha beta algorithm. So here we go. What we have here is our zero window search and it basically, besides all the board data, which is this, uh, which is all these longs, uh, WP and BK and all this stuff, and a white to move and the depth, what we do is we have this variable beta which is keeping track of the scores and when a cutoff happens. Now in alpha beta search or as well as in the uh, principal variation search, we have this alpha and a beta va value. But in a zero or a null window search, what we do is we only have one of them and that one is beta. And alpha we actually set equal to beta minus one. So, um, we could have added uh, alpha into alpha, but we would have always required it to be equivalent to beta minus one, so we can just assume that within the method itself. And that's why it's zero window, because the window or the space in between alpha and beta is just one, so it's basically null or zero. So that's where it gets its name. And that is also what enables it to be really fast and produce cutoffs really quickly. Because the bigger the space between alpha and beta, the more moves that will fit in between them and not cause cutoffs. But if we can narrow them really close, then it's very likely that a move will be greater than beta and produce an instant cutoff. So that's basically the logic. Now what we do is we just set our score, and then we say if depth, equals the search depth. So if we're if the depth is already the maximum depth we're allowed to search, then just return the current rating. Otherwise, we will do all this. Now I'm just seeing right here, whoops, I should have uh, an indented, there we go. So what we do is we come up with the moves and we put them all in a string like normal and then we might sort them, and then for each one of the moves, we make it, and if it is legal, which is based on this if statement, which we've used before in the perfed algorithm, then we just call the score again. And we set the score equal to negative of the zero window search of one minus beta. And as you remember, one minus beta is sort of negative alpha because alpha is beta minus one, so negative alpha is one minus beta. So that would be the same sort of thing. And then, uh, assuming it wasn't uh, legal, or after, I should say, after it's come up with a score, then if the score is greater or equal to beta, producing a cutoff, then we return the score, because it's too good to be true. And then at the very end, we return beta y minus one, which, as I've written in the comments here, is the same as alpha. So that is basically how it works. And so just calling itself, it's very much like an alpha beta search, but it only has one value because beta, because we know that alpha is beta minus one, and because that window is so short, that is what gives it its speed. And Another thing to note about this algorithm is that it doesn't actually give you an exact score like other methods of what the uh, evaluation of the position or the first move will be, but it only tells you if it is a cutoff or not. You can't assume by the returned integer anything about the position. You can only know that, oh, it's bigger than beta, therefore it's a cutoff, or something like that. So that's just how the zero window or the null window search works. I hope this has made sense. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And as always, enjoy Java.